now 4.1 question number 2 okay now here in this question uh, we are given a rectangle and the question is you just have to make equations okay so here there is a rectangle the breadth of the rectangle let us assume as x now what is the length the length is given one more than twice the breadth so length is one more than twice the breadth so what does the length become length becomes 1 plus 2x okay so breadth is x length is one more than twice the breadth so length is 1 plus 2x now area formula is length into breadth this you are already aware and area of the rectangle is already given 5 to 8 so substitute the value of l l is 1 plus 2x and breadth is x so when you open the bracket here we get 2x square plus 1 into x is x is equal to 5 to 8 bring everything on one side so you get quadratic 2x square plus x minus 5 to 8 is 0 So in the first question, I already explained to you that how do we identify quadratics? We can identify a quadratic by looking at the power. So the highest power here is two, and it is in the form of a x square plus b x plus c is zero. So I can say this is a quadratic equation. Okay. So we have represented this problem in a quadratic equation. So we have to do the four parts, and in all the four parts, we have to make a quadratic equation. Now let's go on to the second part. Here they are saying there are two consecutive integers. So let us assume that the first integer is x. So if it is consecutive, the next integer is going to become x plus one. And according to the question, the product of these consecutive positive integers is three zero six. So what will happen? X into x plus one is three zero six. Open the bracket x square plus x into one is x is equal to three zero six. And here you will get x square plus x minus three zero six is zero. So that's again a quadratic equation. Okay. Now how to solve this? We'll do in the next exercise. At the moment you are don't worry about how to solve this. At the moment you just have to make the quadratic equation. Okay. Then the third one. Okay. There are two people, Rohan and his mother. And what's what's given? That age of the mother is twenty six more than Rohan. So if I assume the age of Rohan as x. Age of his mother is going to be x plus twenty six. Now three years from now, what is the meaning of three years from now? After three years, that means we will add three to both their ages. Okay, so it's not that you add only three here, only three here. Both the ages are going to increase. Age is not a constant. Age will keep on increasing, right? So after three years, what will be the age of Rohan? Rohan's age will be x plus three, and age of his mother will be x plus twenty nine. Okay. So the ages are increased by three here. Now the product of their ages, that is x plus three into x plus twenty nine, is given as three sixty. Product of their ages when after three years, that is given as three hundred and sixty. Now you will open the bracket here. We get x square, x into twenty nine twenty nine x plus three x plus twenty nine into three eighty seven equal to three sixty. Twenty nine and three we get thirty two, and three sixty comes this side, so it will come minus three sixty. So you will get a quadratic x square plus thirty two x minus two seventy three is zero. Okay, so this is your third equation. Now we come to the last part that is important. Please mark this question important. And here the question says that there is a distance four eighty kilometers. Distance is always a constant. We cannot increase or decrease it. But what is happening here? The speed of the train is decreased by eight. So let us assume the speed of the train is x, and when you decrease the speed, it will become x minus eight. Right? Speed of the train is x minus eight. So here, time formula we know is distance upon speed. Time formula is distance upon speed. So time formula will be distance is four eighty. If the train speed is x, the time taken to reach its destination will be four eighty by x. And if the speed is decreased, then the time taken will be 480 by x minus 8. Now always remember this is important why because you know the difference in time is given three hours. Now we most people get confused whether this is more or this is more. T1 minus T2 is three or T2 minus T1. Now here the trick is that remember always the slow vehicle is going to take more time. The slow vehicle is going to take more time. So this is the slow vehicle, slow train. So this is going to take more time. So t two is greater than t one. So what we need to do is, when you subtract this, we'll write t two minus t one is three. I hope you understood this point, right? The slow vehicle is going to take more time. So this should be written first. T two minus t one is three. Okay. And then if I 
If I do it the opposite way, you will get a wrong answer. That is why I am emphasizing on this fact. So here, 480 by x minus a, that is t2 minus the t1 value is 3. And then you just take the LCM, x into x minus 8. This will be 480x minus 480 into x minus 8. And then you are opening the bracket. Okay, so 480 into x, I have got 480x. Here there is a negative, so minus 480 into positive x, you got minus 480x. Then there is a negative 480 and minus 8. So when you multiply negative and negative, that will become positive 3840. Upon x, x minus 8 is equal to 3. Now, this is getting cancelled and we are cross multiplying this. So this is x square minus 8x. x square minus 8x is cross multiplied with 3. Here is equal to 3840. So x square minus 8x. This 3 will go down here. 3840 divided by 3, you will get 1280. And 1280, when I transfer this side, it will become negative 1280. So what is the quadratic equation here? x square minus 8x minus 1280. Okay. So in this exercise, we have learned how to convert a word problem into a quadratic equation. In the next exercise, now we learn how to solve these quadratic equations.